Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh KI6NAZ. I have a, a new kit basically I put together. It's a highly mobile ham radio kit. What I'm using is a five liter, almost lost it, Peak Design sling bag. Uh, this is just a regular over the shoulder bag. It looks very much like a purse, but it's actually a camera bag that um, I'm just using for this purpose because it's semi water resistant and the bag layout is pretty smart. And the front pouch here, I've got these little twist tie things with the loops on the end. These are great for um, tethering things to, you know, park bench, whatever, antenna, or if you're running a long wire antenna, which is what we've got in here, they're good to have. In the main pouch, where all the action is, it opens up to three separated containers. The radio is a Elecraft KX2. I have some uh, Dyneema line. This is both a throw line for the weight and for the antenna. The antenna is a Chameleon MCOM antenna. This antenna is overkill. Uh, I might end up going with something a little smaller, but this could be used with just about any radio uh, that you may have in the field, 100 watt or not. Elecraft hand mic and a Palm Pico paddle, which is a um, portable paddle. These are great. Um, I'm told that the company went out of business, so that's problematic, because these are really nice. There are neodymium magnets on the bottom that can just stick to whatever you're working on, which is really, really nice. And that's pretty much all there is. Oh yeah, one more thing. There is a BNC to PL259 coax coil. This is about six feet. Inside the bag, it's pretty straightforward. You have three compartments like you would for lenses if you were a camera person. What makes these uh, bags kind of cool is this divider can actually be split. Oh, no, it's not this guy. It's this guy. You can split them over so you can put something in the bottom, bottom here, and then fold it over and you can create a like shelf, which is pretty cool, like that. And you have a pouch on the inside. These are for uh, memory cards and batteries and whatnot. Has many uses with ham radio. You can throw actual double A, triple A cells in there. All kinds of cool stuff. These pouches, these packs are very well made. Peak Design does a lot of Kickstarter work and I've been supporting them for a long time on their Kickstarters. I really like their stuff. Anyway, there'll be a link in the description if you wanna check out the bag. But that's it, that's all you really need to get up and running. Like I said, this is uh, way overkill, but this is pretty much all HF bands, and I believe max output is 100 watts on this thing, which is you know, nothing that the KX2 can get to. It only goes to 10, but still, not a bad, well, it's kinda of heavy. Not a bad antenna, though. Anyway, I am Josh KI6NAZ. Thank you so much for watching. If you have a Go Kit, why don't you post the ingredients of your Go Kit down in the comments, and we'll rate them. And if you want to rate mine, tell me what I should get rid of or swap out to. Um, probably make a half wave long wire in the future, end fed long wire in the future, to possibly bring the weight down on this. They're pretty easy to make. We'll do a video on it. Okay, guys, give me a thumbs up if you could. Subscribe, click that bell so you get notified when I go live every Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thanks so much for watching. See ya. I forgot one item. A Weaver 12-ounce throw bag. This is for hooking to this Dyema line and throwing into a tree. Gonna have to have something like this. Either a little bag that you can uh, put rocks in or one of these that's already filled. This adds weight, of course, but um, it's a nice design. Goes right through the trees.